Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. In this episode, we're going to pick up where we left off on engineering economics, this time talking about the annual equivalent uh, uniform payments. So the last video we talked about present worth, this one we're talking about annual cash flow analysis. So we're going to be comparing a present value or a future value to the annual equivalent payments. There's gonna be a payment every single year with interest to represent either a sum present or a sum future. So let's get into it. Say we have a student that wants to buy a used car for $15,000. He plans on driving this car for a total of eight years. So our payment period here, N is going to equal to eight. I want to find the equivalent annual cost if our interest rate is 6.6%. So this right here, this 15,000, since he's buying it today, that's gonna to be our P. And we wanna know the annual equivalent, A. So we can write this out as A equals our present value 15,000 times a given P for an interest rate of 6.6% for a period of eight. So this is gonna equal 15,000 times our I in decimal form is gonna be 0 0.066 times one plus I 0 0.066 an exponent of N equals to eight divided by one plus I, 0 0.066, times an exponent of eight, minus one. So we carry that out and we get just about 15,000 times a decimal value of 0 we keep going and we arrive with our equivalent annual uniform payment is going to be equal to $2,473 for a period of eight years. Now let's draw our cash flow diagram to see what that looks like. So here's a cash flow diagram template for eight years. At n equals zero, we have a at n equals zero, we have a total cost of P equals 15,000. And then what we wanted to find was A. So here's all of our A values, and you're gonna notice they're all the same. And that's why it's called uniform annual payment, uniform to mean the same. We found a value of A equals $2,473. Okay, now what if I said for that same car and that same student, if he sells it for a total of $3,000 at that period of eight years, and we're assuming the interest is still the same at 6.6%, what would be the annual uniform equivalent benefit? So this time, our $3,000 equals F here. We want to find the annual benefit. Benefit because since he's selling it, this is going to be a positive value in his pocket compared to losing the $15,000. So we can say that. We want to find A given our F of $3,000 times A given F an interest rate of 6.6% for a period of eight years, which is going to be the same as our interest as a decimal, 0 0.066 divided by one plus our interest, 0 0.066, at an exponent of eight minus one. And of course, we're just getting that from right here. So we carry that out and we have A equals $3,000 times a decimal equivalent of about 0 
three six and I'm just writing that out so you can follow along but we're gonna keep that value in our calculator after we do this and I'm missing my three thousand dollars right here we're gonna multiply so we keep going and we come up with our equivalent benefit of two hundred and ninety two dollars now let's draw that cash flow diagram and see what that looks like so here's a cash flow diagram template for a period of eight years we know at the end of our eight years he sells the car for a total of F equals three thousand dollars and what we were asked to find was the uniform annual equivalent benefit A and again they're all the same because it's a uniform annual benefit so from the math we just found A given F was two hundred and ninety two dollars so all of these A's right here along this cash flow diagram are two hundred and ninety two dollars now suppose the problem asks us from the beginning say it said a student bought a car for fifteen thousand dollars which we know is our P he drove it for eight years and equals eight and at the end of eight years he sold it for three thousand dollars of course equals our F and our interest rate was six point six percent now what if the question asked us what is the equivalent uniform annual cost how do we compare both the P and the F well if you know where we're going with this we're gonna combine these two cash flow diagrams so at first we we're just trying to find the annual cost given the present value the second we're trying to find the annual benefit given just the sale cost now we're gonna combine them so now our new a a new is going to equal our a given P minus our a given F and why is it not the other way around why is it not a given F minus a given P well since we already did the steps earlier we know that our annual uniform cost was about two and a half grand and our annual benefit from selling it was only about 300 bucks so this cost is a lot more than this does so this is greater so since we already did the math we can just say that a new is going to equal our a given p was two thousand four hundred and seventy three dollars minus our a given f which was two hundred and ninety two dollars we come up with a new annual equivalent uniform payment of two thousand one hundred and eighty one so what exactly would this look like if we sketched on a cash flow diagram so our new cash flow diagram would be like combining the first one which was a given P which I just drew down there with our a given F so if we combine them together it's gonna to look something like this so on the bottom we've got the present cost for fifteen thousand dollars and the annual equivalent cost after eight years which was a given P of two thousand four hundred and seventy three on the top we've got the future cost of three thousand dollars that our student sold it for and the annual cost sorry and the annual benefit at the same interest rate which was a given F was 292 and now we're going to subtract these two and we're going to come up with a final diagram that looks like this and our new a value that we found which was the difference of our uniform annual present and our uniform annual future was a equals two thousand one hundred and eighty one dollars and uh, just a quick note about scale notice this cash flow diagram is not to scale this line for the fifteen thousand dollars on the present worth should be much greater than the uniform annual since the uniform annual is only about two grand so didn't want to confuse you on that if you noticed it and here it is just a little more cleaned up the last cash flow diagram and the answer to the last part of the question that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed learning about annual equivalent uniform payments, the subsection of engineering economics. For more PE exam practice problems and to try our online review course, come see us at electricalpereview.com. See you soon.